Okay. So, <laughs> hey, look, Emma. Oh, there's no one. <laughs> okay, you'll let all three of you guys. I'll let, I'll, let, I'll let all three of you guys there. So, I'll tell you what, Patrick, I'm all right. All right, I'll do this from here. Yeah. I don't realize Tom looked at Chick's point. So, uh. <laughs> okay, Tom, what's going to happen here is uh, I'm going to sit behind you and explain this stuff. Patrick, I am going to need you now. Sorry. I'm gonna need, I am going to need you. <laughs> No, that's, that's Catherine Cronin. So Patrick, uh, make sure that you can Hi, Bernie. So I'm sitting behind some students in my classroom. Can you okay, that's good. I want to add one more person. Okay. Uh, Emma, Emma, if you're watching, if you and Noah are watching, give me a thumbs up if you can hear us, Emma. Good. Yeah. In stereo, no less. Okay. <laughs> No, you should get an invitation, David. So, Emma, Emma, if you wouldn't mind, you can stick some uh, comments in the side chat if you and Noel have a uh, chat stuff you want to have. We don't have a good mic in the room. I can't get it set up right. <laughs> okay, Bernie, what can you see from here? Um, I have good purple. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you're, you're clear, and uh, it's you and one person in the background. And okay. spin the camera right and see the heads of some people. Now, can everybody in here hear? Okay. So, Bernie, will I let you know what we were doing this morning? Yeah, do you want me to just kind of explain to the guys behind me and to your crowd what we're doing, or do you want to leave? Yeah, you start, and because um, I think we're in sync with the, the creativity assignment, but I'd like to hear what you guys are doing. Okay. The, I think the people up front here uh, with me are Claire and uh, Tom and Patrick. I'm not sure they've done what I'm about to tell has happened. We've done essay on creativity, and what I'm asking you to do in the spirit of the iCollab community of practice is to put themselves on, on maps with, as pinpoints, and then subsequent to that, they're going to put on the maps elements of creativity that pertain to the essay they wrote. So it might be a favorite place where creativity happened. It might be just the cover of an, of an artist's uh, an album. It might be a piece of art or a, a fragment of a memory that's hanging someplace that moves them to a creative level. So that's what we're doing. We're using the iCollab hashtag occasionally, and they would know this URL, bit.ly forward slash iCollab map as a place where all this has happened. So okay. All right, well, that's great, because uh, all of our class has created uh, profile points of interest on the map. And about half of our class, which is over 50 students, are going to do the creativity and collaboration assignment, which is uh, writing about creativity and putting up an image or some representation of that creative space. Now, one person has already done the assignment already, and that's David, and I might just ask him to explain what happened to him. He, he put up his, uh, his document last week, and a whole lot of things have happened in the space of one week due to the power of the hashtag and sharing. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, what I did is I created a document, and I put it up. Uh, it's basically advice I'd want to give to my children when they're a little bit older. Uh, just one line things. I think there's over there's over a hundred of them now, but it's, it's been shared since last week. Um, just small bits of advice, and it's gone through. I've used the, the iCollab hashtag and tweeted it at uh, iCollab as well. So it should be there on the Twitter feed if you guys want to have a look at it. Feel free to add your own pieces of advice that you'd either give to a younger version of yourselves or um, to your children, or and it'll be there for forever, or as long as it's a uh, Still in my Google Dropbox or Google Drive, and uh, and it got picked yeah, up a couple of times. It did. Said, yeah. uh, there was a, a lady in um, in Mead. I can't remember the town she's in, but she writes for a uh, for a small paper over there. And she she got a, she got sent it via a friend of hers, and she wants to use one or two of the little uh, pieces of advice every every month in her in her uh, in her paper. So that was that was quite nice. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's. This stuff, when it goes electronic, especially when you cache it, and people pick up the hash by uh, subscribing to the hashtag and following it, 
can lead to some pretty interesting breakthrough moments. So it's um, been five years ago, someone might have said you're a promoter or you're being narcissistic. Now I think it's like to say that what you're offering is very collaborative and you're, the zone of creativity is something everyone's interested in. People talk about the smart economy. It's normally trying to do things that you're mechanically describing as best practice. So fair play to sharing it. And I hope someone, like I hope the meet person takes it to where it may enter another space. It might be a radio chat zone space or a newspaper article. Um, if, uh, if a small uh, local journalist picks up on these things, potentially that means that Sunday Times or the Irish Times themselves are also interested because they, the journalists often have these coffee chats where they're exchanging information about emerging things. As an aside, there's an event called Congregation, and they're hashtagging themselves Congregation 13. They'd be interested in the story you just told there. Uh, okay. that's, a, that's a blog post. So Kong, Kong the, con the country, or, yeah, right, the uh, city, the town on the border of Mayo and Gal and uh, in Galway, it's having an event the first Saturday of the month of December, and you're, that, what just happened to you is interesting to the people that are going to be there. So good, good, good on that. Good on you. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. So that that was just the first uh, contribution, uh, Bernie. But hopefully there will be more. And um, I think if we use the hashtag, the iCollab hashtag, and um, That'll drive a lot of connections with the other countries as well. Yeah. Okay. So, anybody in your group want to speak? Tom, can you tell? Where are you creative, Tom? My kitchen table. <laughs> so, my, yeah, on my kitchen table with the kids screaming, screaming in my ear. Yeah. So the, the perfect. The perfect image of that just flashed through my mind. It involved Cheerios sticking on the wall. <laughs> Those are all right, Jen. Yeah. Yeah. sticking on me. Yeah. Claire, do you want to offer something? Yeah, um, so that wasn't suit me at all. I could not cope with like all that mayhem around me and be creative. My thing is like go off for a walk. And uh, I told everybody very lucky where I live. There's a lot of um, forestry and that around us. Um, so even if it's flashing rain, um, like I can walk through the trees and still be sheltered to a degree so I'm not getting soaked or whatever and um, when I get to the top of this hill that's near us there's actually a big uh, cross, a stone cross and you can sit there and just view, I'm from County Cork and you can view like so much of North Cork and it's really peaceful and that's where a lot of my creative moments come from. Yeah. So are you going to share a photograph of that space and put it on the iColab map? Yeah, yeah, that will happen in the next year or two. That's great. Patrick, over to you. Uh, for me, it's similar to Claire, but um, I find I find I get more immersed in creative if I'm listening to music while I'm down some country road or something. Um, there's a forestry area near here called Ticking Cork. Uh, I don't think I've been, I've, it's probably the place I've visited the most my entire life. So I always find it most creative there. Um, I'll be posting up um, kind of just information about the area and where you can go and interesting places in Tick tick and core the next week, I suppose. And Catherine, just for your guys to know, these guys are on courses that either lead to a BSc in creative multimedia or digital animation production. So they're going to be paid to be creative. Uh, within a few years, and if not, well, <laughs> fingers <laughs> crossed, <laughs> they'll rewarm their talents another way. But we're, it's a gold mine of ideas, and many of these are predictable, but because of that, and because they are giving results, uh, I think it's something we can bottle and then offer to incoming students as if you have to write, if you have to draw, or you have to produce, here are some interesting creative places, mental places or physical places people have used with great effect before. So to me, it's more than an academic exercise. We're actually defining space by talking about here for these various layers and various interpretations. Okay, that, that's great. I think it's going to be interesting to see, you know, when everybody submits their their places to the map, and also there might be an audio tapestry as well, because I know some people here were talking about um, snippets of music and so on. Very good. We'll see what we can do with that.
Okay. Okay, thanks guys for joining us. Okay, thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.